good morning. A good friend of mine gave me this coffee cup. It says, do what you love, love what you do. And it really lines up with what I wanted to talk with you about this morning. <clears throat> so first of all, I had the most amazing experience last night. Um, I was, um, I'm part of a group where we're doing hot seats, except for we change the name of it to love seats. It's a group of women who, there's I think eight of us, nine of us, and we're all getting together in October. We're gonna spend the weekend together and help each other work through business challenges, support each other, and have a little bit of fun and maybe some wine. <laughs> um, but the love seats are what you would call the traditional hot seat. And I thought the topic that we went over last night is one that could really resonate with other people who are trying to um, either start a business or figure out which direction their business goes next. And that is this idea of the need to niche down. So if you're someone who has a business that is applies to, or it, you feel like is gonna resonate with a really wide audience, uh, and you keep getting the advice that you need to niche down, or you listen to podcasts that are telling you, you need to get really, really specific on your target audience, then this advice may be helpful. Uh, so the woman who is in the hot seat is in that situation. I've been in that situation uh, myself with my business. The name of my business is the Professional Woman's Mentor on the one side and then Strategic Change Consulting on the other side. And especially on the women's side, it's a pretty broad stroke. So helping women um, become more confident and promotable so that they can rise in their career and it's targeted towards women who feel stuck. Well, that could be, you know, someone who feels stuck for a, a variety of different reasons. It could be, you know, new people entering work. It could be someone in mid-career. It could be an executive. It might be, you know, women who have gone to college and thought that that was going to get them ahead and it didn't. So all of these are little niches and I haven't, haven't gotten myself down to that level of granularity and I hesitate to do it. And this is what was happening with the woman who was in the love seat. So the way a love seat works is you present an issue that you're having or something that you need advice on. You have five minutes to do that. And then each person, in this case, we're all women, each woman had five minutes to give advice. And if you're in the love seat, you sit and absorb and at the very end, you talk about what resonates with you and then someone is the scribe. So I'm gonna share with you, if you happen to be struggling with this idea of creating a more targeted um, ideal customer, a couple of the things that came up in the love seat that might help you as well. So I'm gonna read from my notes last night. Um, this is thinking about your gifts differently. So this woman, uh, it, you know, yes, she has a business and she's also amazing at creating really good content and she does it very quickly. So one of the um, suggestions was, what if one of your gifts is, is creating content and you teach people how to do that? It's completely different than the main focus of the business, uh, but it might be an additional path to go down. Uh, another person said, what's your minimal MLP, so your minimal, minimum lovable product. I love this. It doesn't always match up with what you think it's going to be and take those passions, be willing to experiment with other groups. That's kind of a little bit in line with the previous one. Um, the other one, I just thought this was so cool. She had a gentleman reach out to her for coaching and she said, well, I usually work with women. He goes, no, no, I want a woman's perspective. And then she said, I think that he said that to me so that I could pass it on to you. And I just thought that was cool. Sometimes we get messages that are really meant for someone else and it's kind of exciting when you, when you recognize that. Another person said, focus on groups that make your heart beat. I love that. Uh, you can pick them versus them picking you. So really think about what groups you want to serve and then approach those groups. Uh, maybe you need more time to be grounded, get to a place where you're calm enough to hear your inner voice. And I think that's something that not only entrepreneurs struggle with, but all of us do struggle with really getting to that quiet place where we can kind of hear the musings and the whispers of the direction we're supposed to go. Someone else said, passion is the wrong thing to think about. Focus on what is your magic zone. What do you, what's in your zone of brilliance? And you know, we, we have a passion for something and 
we also have gifts that we can share that might be related to that a little bit more loosely and we can use those to um, support that target audience but really just driving down the passion road can sometimes take us in the wrong direction um, someone else said think about how you want people to describe you in 10 years so you've rocked your business you've done a great job what are they gonna say about you and that's gonna give you direction and then I also love this idea of creating a Venn diagram where you do those circles that that um, you put content in and then where they meet in the middle is kind of that magic place and on this Venn diagram you know what are the things that make your heart smile uh, what are you really good at and those may not be the same two things and what does the market need so if you can get a very clear picture of what you're good at what you love doing and what the market needs that is where that kind of secret niche is uh, so if you are struggling with how to find your ideal audience how to really niche down and make your target audience tight know that you're not alone uh, all of us on the call were kind of like, yeah, yeah, we're kind of struggling with that too. And these are a few, just a couple of the general pieces of guidance that I thought were really cool golden nuggets that I thought you guys might be able to use as you're creating your side hustle, your business. Don't get too caught up in it. Um, I think sometimes you just have to start and that path will become more clear. I've been at this for, I don't know, five or six years. I'm going to have to look it up um, so that I get that year right. But I will tell you it's still something that is hard um, because you feel like your message does resonate with a wider audience and I think if you can at least get a little bit more specific if you find yourself in that place follow the tips from the amazing women on the phone last night and really think about those things as you create that ideal avatar or your target your target person or group hope that helps if you're struggling with creating a, a really tight target audience or niche for your business and i'd love to hear if this is something that you struggle with as you are creating your business as well hope you guys have a great day and i will see you tomorrow